The triune brain is a model of the evolution of the vertebrate for brain and behavior, proposed by the American physician and neuroscientist Paul D. McLean. McLean originally formulated his model in the 1960s and propounded it at length in his 1990 book The Triune Brain and Evolution. The triune brain consists of the reptilian complex, the paleomammalian complex, and the neomammalian complex, viewed as structures sequentially added to the full brain in the course of evolution. However, this hypothesis is no longer espoused by the majority of comparative neuroscientists in the post-2000 era. The triune brain hypothesis became familiar to a broad popular audience through Carl Sagan's Pulitzer Prize-winning 1977 book The Dragons of Eden. The theory has been embraced by some psychiatrists and at least one leading effective neuroscience researcher. Reptilian complex, the reptilian complex, also known as the A complex or reptilian brain was the name McLean gave to the basal ganglia, structures derived from the floor of the full brain during development. The term derives from the idea that comparative neuroanatomists once believed that the full brains of reptiles and birds were dominated by these structures. McLean proposed that the reptilian complex was responsible for species typical instinctual behaviors involved in aggression, dominance, territoriality, and ritual displays. Paleomammalian complex The paleomammalian brain consists of the septum, amygdalae, hypothalamus, hyocampal complex, and cingulate cortex. McLean first introduced the term limbic system to refer to this set of interconnected brain structures in a paper in 1952. McLean's recognition of the limbic system as a major functional system in the brain was not widely accepted among neuroscientists, and is generally regarded as his most important contribution to the field. McLean maintained that the structures of the limbic system arose early in mammalian evolution and were responsible for the motivation and emotion involved in feeding, reproductive behavior, and parental behavior. Neomammalian complex The neomammalian complex consists of the cerebral neocortex, a structure found uniquely in higher mammals, specifically humans. McLean regarded its addition as the most recent step in the evolution of the mammalian brain conferring the ability for language, abstraction, planning, and perception. Status of the model, McLean originally formulated the triune brain hypothesis in the 1960s, drawing on comparative neuroanatomical work done by Ludwig Edinger, Elizabeth C. Crosby and C. J. Herrick early in the 20th century. The 1980s saw a rebirth of interest in comparative neuroanatomy, motivated in part by the availability of a variety of new neuroanatomical techniques for charting the circuitry of animal brains. Subsequent findings have refined the traditional neuroanatomical ideas upon which McLean based his hypothesis. For example, the basal ganglia were shown to take up a much smaller portion of the full brains of reptiles and birds than previously supposed, and to exist in amphibians and fish as well as mammals and sauropsids. Because the basal ganglia are found in the full brains of all modern vertebrates, they most likely date to the common evolutionary ancestor of the vertebrates, more than 500 million years ago, rather than to the origin of reptiles. Some recent behavioral studies do not support the traditional view of sauropsid behavior as stereotyped and ritualistic. Birds have been shown to possess highly sophisticated cognitive abilities such as the tool-making of the new Caledonian crow and the language-like categorization abilities of the African grey parrot. Structures of the limbic system, which McLean proposed arose in early mammals, have now been shown to exist across a range of modern vertebrates. The paleomammalian trait of parental care of offspring is widespread in birds and occurs in some fishes as well. Thus, like the basal ganglia, the evolution of these systems presumably date to a common vertebrate ancestor. Finally, recent studies based on paleontological data or comparative anatomical evidence strongly suggest that the neocortex was already present in the earliest emerging mammals. In addition, although non-mammals do not have a neocortex in the true sense, they possess pallial regions, and some parts of the pallium are considered homologous to the mammalian neocortex. While these areas lack the characteristic six neocortical layers, birds and reptiles generally possess three layers in the dorsal pallium. 
the telencephalon of birds and mammals makes neuroanatomical connections with other telencephalic structures like those made by neocortex. It mediates similar functions such as perception, learning and memory, decision making, motor control, conceptual thinking. Lay interest the triune model of the mammalian brain is seen as an oversimplified organizing theme by some in the field of comparative neuroscience it continues to hold public interest because of his simplicity. While technically inaccurate as an explanation for brain activity, it remains one of very few approximations of the truth we have to work with. The neocortex represents that cluster of brain structures involved in advanced cognition, including planning, modeling and simulation. The limbic brain refers to those brain structures, wherever located, associated with social and nurturing behaviors, mutual reciprocity, and other behaviors and effects that arose during the age of the mammals. And the reptilian brain refers to those brain structures related to territoriality, ritual behavior and other reptile behaviors. The broad explanatory value makes this approximation very engaging and is a useful level of complexity for high school students to begin engaging with brain research. Howard Bloom, in his book The Lucifer Principle, references the concept of the triune brain in his explanations of certain aspects of human behavior. Arthur Koesler made Maclean's concept of the triune brain the centerpiece of much of his later work, notably The Ghost in the Machine. English novelist Julian Barnes quotes Maclean on the triune brain in the foreword to his 1982 novel Before She Met Me. Peter A. Levine uses the triune brain concept in his book Waking the Tiger to explain his somatic experiencing approach to healing trauma. References Further reading, Nomura, Tadashi. Kawaguchi, Maozahumi. Ono, Katsuhiko. Murakami, Yasunori. Reptiles, a new model for brain evo devo research. Journal of Experimental Zoology Part B, Molecular and Developmental Evolution 320, 57 a Euro 73 doi, 10.1002 slash 22484. PMID 23319423. The Avian Brain Nomenclature Consortium. Ga 1 quarter N T A 1 quarter A K A 1 quarter N, 1 A. Bruce, Laura. Xelag, Andrew S. Carton, Harvey. Quenzel, Wayne. Medina, Lorita. Paxinos, George. Perkle, David J. Shimizal, Toru. Striedta. Wild, J. Martin. Ball, Gregory F. Dugas Ford, Jennifer. Durand, Sarah E. Huff, Gerald E. Husband, Scott. Kibakava, Lubica. Lee, Diane W. Mello, Claudio V. Powers. Siang, Connie. Smolders, Tom 5. Wada, Kazuhiro. White, Stephanie A. Yamamoto, Keiko. Yu, Jing. Rayner, Anton. Butler, Anne B. Avian Brain Nomenclature Consortium. Avian Brains and a New Understanding of Vertebrate Brain Evolution. Nature Reviews. Neuroscience 6, 151 a Euro 159 DOI, 10.1038 NRN1606. PMC 2507884. PMID 15,685,220. Gardner, Russell. Corey, Gerald of the Evolutionary Neuroethology of Paul McLean, Convergences and Frontiers. New York, Prager. ISBN 0-275-97219-4. OCLC 49,649,452. Hamer, Lennart. Van Heusen, Gary W. Trimble, Michael. Zahm, Daniel S. The Triune Brain Concept and the Controversy Surrounding It. Anatomy of Neuropsychology, The New Anatomy of the Basal Full Brain and Its Implications for Neuropsychiatric Illness. Amsterdam. Boston, Academic Press Elsevier Pages 15 a Euro 16, 19. 
ISBN 978-0-12-374239-1. OCLC 427506175. Crow, V. A. McLean, Paul D. A. Triune Concept of the Brain and Behavior, by Paul D. McLean. Including Psychology of Memory, and Sleep and Dreaming. Papers presented at Queen's University, Kingston, Ontario, February 1969, by V. A. Crow, A. L. Toronto published for the Ontario Mental Health Foundation by University of Toronto Press. ISBN 0. 8020-3299-0. OCLC 704665. McLean, P.D. Brain Evolution Relating to Family, Play, and the Separation Call. Archives of General Psychiatry 42, 405 a Euro 17 doi, 10.1001 slash archpsic 1985.0179027009511. PMID 3977559. McLean, Paul D. The Triune Brain and Evolution, Role in Paleocerebral Functions. New York, Plenum Press. ISBN 0-306-43168-8. OCLC 20295730. Buzzle, Keith. The Third Striving. Salt Lake City, Utah, 5th Press. Pages 139. ISBN 978-0-9763579-5-7. Buzzle, Keith. A New Conception of God, Further Reflections on Gurdjieff Swim. Salt Lake City, Utah, 5th Press. Pages 311. ISBN 978-0-9763579-4-0. Buzzle, Keith. Reflections on Gurdjieff Swim. Salt Lake City, Utah, 5th Press. Pages 265. ISBN 0-976-3579-3-3. Buzzle, Keith. Mana Euro A Three Brain Being. Salt Lake City, Utah, 5th Press. Pages 139. ISBN 0-9763579-2-5. Buzzle, Keith. Explorations in Active Mentation. Salt Lake City, Utah, 5th Press. Pages 297. ISBN 0-9763579-1-7. Buzzle, Keith, 2005. Perspectives on Beelzebub's Tales. Salt Lake City, Utah, 5th Press. Pages 228. ISBN 0-9763579-0-9. Buzzle, Keith. 